Hello students, I am Priyanka and I am your social studies mentor. Today, we will start with the chapter 1 of class 4 that is I love my India. Let's kick start. Take the correct alternative words in the following sentences. India is situated in the continent of Asia. It is the 7th largest country and also the second most populous country in the world. There are several countries around India. They are Pakistan, Afghanistan, China, Nepal, Myanmar, Bhutan, Bangladesh and Sri Lanka. Besides these countries, the Arabian Sea, the Indian Ocean and the Bay of Bengal also touch its border. India has 28 states and 9 union territories including National Capital Territory of Delhi. New Delhi is the capital of India. Have you understood students? Now we are starting with the physical features. There is a variety in India's people, land, climate and vegetation. People of different parts have different customs, costumes, cultures and languages. In spite of all these diversities, we are Indians. We believe in unity in diversity. India also varies in the land surface. In some places, it has high mountains. In some other places, it has large plains, rivers and beautiful lakes. Natural regions of India the land surfaces having similar physical feature throughout make a natural region. India is divided into six natural regions. They are described as given. The first one is Himalayan region. The Himalayan region has very high ranges of mountains in the world. The high mountains peaks like Mount Everest and Kanchanjunga lie in this region. Now the second one is Northern Plains. The Northern Plains are the flat surface of land. Rivers like Ganga, Yamuna, Satluj and Brahmaputra flow and water these plains. This makes a land fertile. Good field of crops are obtained from these plains. Now the third one is Indian Desert. The Indian Desert lies in the western part of India. The land is very dry and sandy. It is not fertile. At some places only a patch of land surface with water can be seen. Some trees like date palm and bamboo are found here. Now the Plateau region. The plateau region is an uneven land higher than the plains and lower than the mountains. It is a table land and less fertile. The plateau region is the storehouse of natural wealth. The coastal plains. The coastal plains of India lie along the sea coast of India. Many rivers like Kaveri, Krishna, flow and water these plains. So these plains are also fertile like the northern plains. The group of islands. There are two groups of islands in the Indian Ocean. They can be known as the six natural regions of India. The Lakshadweep Island are in the Arabian Sea and the Andaman and Nicobar Island are in the Bay of Bengal. Climate of India. India has different types of landforms like mountain, hills, valleys, plains, plateaus, deserts and coastlines etc. These physical features determine the climate of a place. So the climate in our country varies from place to place. Some places are very hot and some places are very cold. Some places get heavy rainfall while others remain dry. Generally, the mountain region is very cold while the desert region is quite dry and hot. 
the eastern and northeastern states get too much rain whereas the desert region hardly get rainfall seasons in india india experiences three main seasons the summer the winter and the rainy monsoon season first one is summer season the summer season starts from april and continues till june days are longer than nights it is extremely hot all over the country except the mountain region the southern part of india is less hot than the northern part heat waves blow in the northern plains the desert region suffers a lot in summers the second one is winter season the winter season starts by the end of october days become shorter and nights are longer december and january are very cold winter continues till february weather in the coastal plain is pleasant but the mountain region is extremely cold there is no rainfall during winter except in tamil nadu now the third one is rainy season M monsoon brings a lot of rain on a rainy day everything is wet and slippery it is always cloudy cool winds blow all the time we should avoid junk food in this season especially because of rain many rainy insects are born at this time this may lead to infection we may fall sick we wear rain coats to cover our body in case we have to go out we wear gum boots too we should always carry and umbrella in our bags during this season now it's time to looking back india is the seventh largest country in the world india is divided into six natural regions namely the himalayan region the northern plains the indian desert the plateau region the coastal plains and the two island groups and the last one is india experiences three main season the summer season the winter season and the rainy season thank you now it's time to take your leave so bye children now we meet in the next chapter